but we're gonna take a look at this later because first I want to take you to the definition of the word alien. And of course in this case the word alien refers to an extraterrestrial being and not a foreigner. So what is the definition of the word extraterrestrial being? It's a form of life assumed to exist outside the earth or its atmosphere. So in other words an alien can be simply any creature unknown that is not of this planet. According to how this generation uses the word alien and the definition that is attached to extraterrestrial being, according to this generation. Now I want to be very careful here because there are people running around and false prophets that try to teach you that Jesus the Christ is an alien that will come back on a spaceship. Now if you believe that, you better stop believing that for the sake of your soul. Because I tell you, Yahushua, Jesus, is not and never will be an alien. And he surely doesn't need a spaceship to come back because he rides on the clouds. He's the creator of heaven and earth and the word of God. All right. He is not an unknown creature when he comes back. All, all knees will bow and tongues confess at him as Lord. All will know who he is when he comes back to set up his millennium kingdom after the great tribulation. All will know that this is truly the son of God, the Messiah of mankind. Okay, that this is God Almighty. All will see him, all will know him. So you better get that out of your mind right now. So getting that out of the way, let's continue. This world system of iniquity has made sure that when we hear the word alien, we think about these odd-shaped, headed creatures, big eyes, skinny bodies that can enter the psyche of human beings. Now, while this all may be true, they can do all that and actually appear as such creatures. This was Satan's purpose and to use it as a cover-up of his elite troops and fallen, of fallen angels and demons to manipulate your mind so that you will never even think of the Bible, of the possibility that these are fallen angels. But more about that later. Now, as we keep in mind that an alien is a form of life existing outside the earth, we can conclude that this includes angels, mainly talking about fallen angels, from other atmospheres, realms, and heavens. All right? So, aliens visiting or even invading this very planet. It is biblical because accounts thereof have been given in the very first book of the Bible. The book of Genesis chapter 6. Please read with me. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth and daughters were born unto them that the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were fair. And they took their wives of all which they chose. And Yahweh said, My spirit shall not always strive with man for that he also is flesh. Yet his days shall be in hundred and twenty years. There were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them, the same became mighty men which were of old, men of renown. The sons of God that is spoken of here refers to heavenly angels that chose to rebel against their creator, Yahweh. All right. Whereas they were set to watch over this earth and to serve man, they plotted amongst themselves to betray mankind and to lust after and take the women of this earth. Now as these fallen angels bred with women, creatures were born that were half human, half angel. These are the hybrids. And these were the giants and mighty men that the Bible spoke of. This means that there were creatures on the earth in those days that were inhuman in appearance and in strength. And it's very interesting because Yahushua prophesied that in the, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be again in these last days. It will be actually even worse. And now you have people like Lady Gaga, who is in hybrid herself, okay, preparing this world to deem it normal. Okay, that such creatures will be among us because they will manifest themselves just like they are one day very soon again like it was in the days of Noah, okay? So for all those watching this, listening to the garbage of Lady Gaga, you are buying into a satanic agenda that is ushering in the New World Order. Yahweh's judgment was, up, was unleashed 
upon this earth in the days of Noah, and he destroyed all creatures on this earth with a worldwide flood, yet he spared righteous Noah and his family. One of the reasons that he did that is because the hybrids, the giants, were eating up the people on the earth in those days. Okay? They had defiled the human race and bloodline so much that Satan, through these giants and these acts that the fallen angels committed that were breeding with the women of this earth, he tried to destroy the possibility of a savior being born among mankind. All right? So God Almighty destroyed the fallen angel seed so that the Savior could eventually be born from a Hebrew virgin who was supernaturally overshadowed by the Holy Spirit and came forth in the flesh. The Word of God was made flesh. Now in the book of Enoch, which is a holy book that the Bible itself refers to in the book of Jude chapter 1 verse 14 to 15, which was omitted from the Holy Scriptures by man with selfish reasons and motivations, as they deemed certain books, holy books like the book of Enoch, too confrontational for man, so they just threw them out. In the book of Enoch it says something very interesting about the giants, the hybrids, the half-human, half-angels. But before I continue, I want to say this. Because man, have omit, man has omitted these books, like the book of Enoch, from the Holy Scriptures, it has given many so-called Christians an opportunity and an excuse to call the lost books of the Bible, which they truly don't know anything about, evil, demonic, and garbage. Because they were not included in their King James Version. But I tell you this. If you jump on the bandwagon of such people and dare to call these lost books evil without even studying them, you are calling the word of God evil because the Bible itself refers to those books. So be not deceived. Especially when you watch this video, now you know better. Alright? So, having that out of the way, the book of Enoch, it says something very interesting about the giants. We're going to take a look at the book of Enoch in a moment. Yahweh God decided that because the giants had their origin from heavenly creatures, angels that fell, yet were born among mankind on this earth, that their judgment when they died would be a different kind of judgment than the fallen angels that are bound or human beings that are like suffering uh, the flames of hell at this time, awaiting their final judgment. Because these, pe because these giants didn't really belong to heaven, neither to earth, yet were born on this earth, when they died, their spirits went forth from their bodies and they became evil spirits that would continue to wander around on this earth, always seeking rest and peace, but finding none, hungering and thirsting, craving to possess a human body so that they can commit the same sinful and abominable and horrendous acts they were used to doing when they were still the giants on this earth in the flesh. All right? This is what the book of Enoch says in chapter 15, verse 8 to 12. And now, the giants who are produced from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits upon the earth, and on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies because they are born from men and from the holy watches is their beginning and primal origin. They shall be evil spirits on earth and evil spirits or demons shall they be called. As for the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling. But as for the spirits of the earth which were born upon the earth, on the earth shall be their dwelling. And the spirits of the giants afflict oppress, destroy, attack, and do battle, and work destruction on the earth, and cause trouble. They take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst, and cause offenses. And these spirits shall rise up against the children of men, and against the women, because they have proceeded from them. So as you can see, the book of Enoch, that the Holy Bible itself refers to, explains us, that the spirits of the giants became demons. And even those same spirits that were destroyed, the giants that were destroyed in the flood in the days of Noah, these same spirits are wandering on this earth even today, causing offenses. 
wrecking havoc among mankind. And this explains the reality of demonic oppression and possession as these demons, the spirits of the giants, always seek to attach themselves to human beings or to possess human beings. And this is the cause of many things, many sins, addictions, uh, lust, fornication, drunkenness, porn, booze, uh, intoxication of the mind, depression, thoughts of suicide, thoughts of murder, and you know the list goes on. Okay, These same spirits are also working through the governments of this world. As this written, we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this age. These same spirits work through governmental powers to establish a new world order to set the stage for the Antichrist to appear. These are, uh, you know, some of the tasks of these demons. Now, every single human being on this earth has at least one or more of those demons assigned against them to either torment them or entice them until the day they die in their sins and Yahweh's judgment is upon them. All right. So these demons purpose is to keep us away and straying from the path of life that leads to life everlasting, which is Yahushua Hamashiach, the son of God. Now. Everybody in this world, therefore, needs deliverance from something. And I especially am talking about those that have not surrendered their lives to Yahushua, Jesus Christ, yet. Everybody, especially among those people, need deliverance from something. Because these demons are tormenting them, are enticing them, causing them to sin, causing them to stumble, causing them to break the commandments of God until the day they die. But thank God, because those that are born again by the Spirit of Yahushua, through faith in His name and blood, have been given the authority over demonic spirits. In Luke chapter 10, verse 19, Yahushua said, I have given you the power to trample on serpents and scorpions, demons, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. So we have been given, if we obey Yahushua, and keep his commandments, and are washed in his blood, the power, the same power that he had to destroy the works of the devil. So never ever let anybody tell you, if you are born again and striving to live holy, that you should not rebuke the devil. Or that you do not have the authority to rebuke demons and to bind demons. Only Satan who want to take that authority from you because he knows that you have been given the authority to destroy his works. And I praise God that although these demons are assigned against mankind, those that are truly Yahushua's, whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, they cannot be plucked from Yahushua's or the Heavenly Father's hand because he will not lose one of his own. But when somebody is saved, the number of demons that is assigned against them by Satan increases. And this explains the trials, the tribulation, the test, the pressure that a child of God goes through. Okay, because these demons are assigned against a child of God to entice them away from the path of life. Remain close to Yahushua's heart. Keep his commandments. So this, and stay washed in his blood. When you, perp when you accidentally sin, not purposely sin, accidentally sin, ask forgiveness and turn your back on sin and move further. So this concerning demons, their origin and their purposes. Now, back to the fallen angels that came to this earth to defile themselves amongst women. Are they qualified to be called aliens? Of course. Remember the definition of the word alien, extraterrestrial being, a form of life assumed to exist outside the earth or its atmospheres. Angels, or fallen angels who especially masquerade as an entirely unknown creature, are just that. They're aliens to this human race because they are not of this planet. So we can therefore say that alien visitations and invasions have happened somewhere in between creation and Noah's Ark in the book of Genesis chapter 6.